Hello everybody, Rudy here from Take a Bath Productions with another video to show you how to fix things. Today we're going to be working on an ICOM IC706 Mark IIG. The symptoms are it's dead as a mackerel, dead as a doornail, whichever dead you want to pick, it's dead. Okay, first I'm going to give you an overview of what, uh, what I found, and then I'm going to give you some more detailed pictures. I'm sorry I didn't film the actual repair because I didn't know for sure that it was going to fix it and I didn't have the camera set up, but I did take, I did take some pictures and I'll show you the pictures and you should be able to get the idea exactly what I did. Okay, let's switch over to the radio. Okay, what we're looking at here is the bottom of the radio. Uh, this is the VFO on this side, microphone jack, audio controls, all that stuff. This is your PA output board, power output is where your finals are at. This board here is where the problem was at. This is the PLL board right here. What happened was right here in this corner, right there, there's a rubber pad underneath that that some chemicals or something that they put on there from the factory uh, didn't uh, they didn't like the board or the board didn't like the rubber pad and it corroded right there and it chewed through a trace that's on the bottom of the board okay I'm gonna show you all that now to take I'm not gonna take this board off here but I'm gonna show you how to take it off uh, basically this connector here you gotta take the other panel off there's a connection on the other side that it comes off and then you can pull this wire through take this off um, you got to take this off to get to a screw right here so take this little ribbon cable loose and there's a screw right here okay screw here 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 and there's one here these guys here don't really have to come loose this doesn't come loose it, it just goes through from the other side you can just move it out of the way um, these wires here, you got to be careful with these when you put it back because they tend to get pinched underneath. So you got to watch those that they, they kind of slip between here like this. So take those out, take the cable, the ribbon cables out. This can stay connected. Once you pull this off, you can pull it out of the way and just kind of lay it aside. This board will come up and flip over. Got to be real careful with these. Just don't stretch them too tight. Just flip the board over, then you can get to everything. And that's about it. Uh, I'm going to switch over to the computer and show you the pictures of exactly what I did to fix this and the problem before I fixed it so you can see what happened. And that's that's all I got to say. The, the, I'm not going to show you the radio in operation. I've already tested it. It works fine. Uh, works great. So uh, that's, the, that's what happened to it. I'm, I've understand that this is somewhat of a common problem so maybe this has happened to you okay let's switch over to the computer all right guys you're looking at my computer screen here and um, this is the PLL board flipped upside down and here's this rubber pad that I was talking about right here now this doesn't show well on the camera but you can see this area right here is kinda of brown and obviously you can see this down here by the fan see where I'm spinning the mouse at this is what happened I don't think there's been any sparking going on I think that whole thing is all corrosion related right there alright let's move on oh. there we go that's a more close picture of it right here what you have to do is take this rubber pad completely off and the problem is right I think it was this one right here let me show you and then when you once you take this off I didn't glue it back on what I did was I put some epoxy on the bottom of this rubber pad and I glued it in right here and then I took a piece of plastic the thinnest piece of plastic you can find and glue it to the top. You don't have to do that. That's what I did because obviously it didn't react very well with the rubber. 
So I put a piece of plastic there to insulate this rubber between the rubber and the board so that they're not contacting each other again. That's my personal thing. I don't know if that's a good fix or not, but that's what I did. All right, we're moving on. You saw that one already. And here's another close-up of the bottom. Uh, like I said, that's where I glued the uh, the rubber pad right there. Obviously, if yours looks like this, clean it up a little bit or the glue won't stick too good. And here's when I took the rubber pad off. Right here, you can see a little square imprint. There's your huckleberry right there. It doesn't show on the camera, but if you look at it under a magnifying glass, the break was right there. Okay, here's how I fixed it. I took one strand of wire. This is probably about an 18 gauge wire, maybe a 20 gauge wire. I peeled them all back and I tinned the one strand. I left it long on purpose so you can hold the wire in there and solder one end of it before you cut it. Otherwise, you're going to have a heck of a time holding it. A little short, tiny piece of wire. And there's what I did. I soldered this end first. Then I cut the wire. I put a little bend in it right here. That's if yours breaks in the same place. And, I, of course, I, I tin these uh, traces on the board first. And I just I soldered one end, and then I just barely touched the other end with the soldering iron, just enough to, to melt it down, because otherwise this end here would come loose. And that's what I did. Put the board back, and it worked. I hope this is a, a helpful video, guys. Uh, it wish I would have been able to find something like this uh, myself because I had to to find this and there was no pictures online available so I hope these pictures help uh, also uh, this is a common problem that doesn't mean that this is what happened to you but check it and see but on one other note when I took this uh, rubber pad off I couldn't see where there was any problem I started scraping around in here a little bit, and then it, then I discovered the problem. So at first glance, I didn't discover the problem, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, well, I hope this has been a helpful video. If it has, click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this from time to time. Thanks for watching. 73.